Hi guys. Today we're going to be doing a scribble drawing. So for this drawing, you can even get a younger brother or sister to help out. And I have a special helper today. Tell us who you are. My name is Will and I am in kindergarten. Okay. A six year old. That's right. And what kind of drawing are we going to do? We're going to be doing a scribble drawing as you know. Great. So all you have to do to make a scribble drawing is to start making a bunch of scribbles on the paper. Go ahead, Will. Kind of like pretend a bunch of spaghetti just fell down on the page. Now stop. And now comes the hard part. Now we have to use our imagination and creative problem solving to figure out what kind of picture we can make out of our scribble. Do you think you see anything in that picture that looks like something real? No. Not yet. Let's try some things. Let's try, and you can try this too, you can try rotating the paper and see if you see any shapes that remind you of something. Maybe it looks like an animal or it looks like a person or somebody wearing a hat or an airplane. And I'm looking closely and we're going to see if we see any shapes to make it into a drawing. I see something. What do you see? I kind of see a balloon right here. See the circle and then the string? Oh, I do too. Do you think there could be a balloon and then what else? Is this a balloon and then two other balloons? That could be. It could Are be. These? Maybe. I wonder if there's anything else we might see. You could keep turning it around. We could do the balloon thing. Or what else? That could Wait, when, it, when it's like this, that kind of looks like a banana. It does look a little like a banana. <laughs> so you really have to use your imagination. And even though we have a big tangled mess, we can use creative problem solving to find out what it could be. So I think I see a dog in this picture. And I'm going to show you how. Look at this. So right here, I feel like this could be the dog's nose. Mm-hmm. And this is sort of his snout. Yeah, and that kind of looks like an eye. This is his mouth. And you can add lines to this too. And this line right here, I think is his, his eye, like a really big eye like that. And this is his head. And let's add some little hairs on his head. And this is the bottom of his mouth, like his chin, okay? And this could even be, and I'm gonna erase, you can erase some things when you're making this picture. I think this is gonna be his tongue. Do you see that? And there's his tongue. Cause sometimes a dog has his tongue sticking out. And I think this looks like it could be his ear. And maybe his ear, you think his ear is colored in? Yeah, like, what would you like? like, like Those like. could be spots on his ear. Cause some dogs have spots. Yeah. Like, but they're more big. I'm, so I'm gonna make this bigger. Okay, that could be a big spot. Now you can color these things in with a pencil like we're doing, or you could do it with crayons or markers or whatever you have around your house. Well, I like that spot on his ear. Yeah. I think we can add things too. You don't have to only use your scribble lines. And like I said, you can erase some lines if you need to. I'm gonna erase that line. And I think I'm gonna erase this part of that line. I think his other eye is over here like this, like he's looking over like that. You can't quite see, maybe his mouth is a little more open. There's kind of a line right here. Maybe his mouth is open. Like that. Yeah, his mouth is open. That's how his tongue is sticking out. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna color his eye in a little more and there's his other eye. We should see his other ear. Do you think his other ear is over here? Like that, and maybe it has spots, or maybe it's colored in. No, it has spots. You think so, it has spots? Yeah, let's erase this. Okay, I did it wrong. We're gonna erase that and change it. Yeah, it's kind of hard to not erase the parts that we did uh -huh. when you're in a small place. That's right. So if you do, but if you do an accident, you can just, you know, draw it again. That's right. I almost feel like this could be his front paw, like he's he's holding his paws up like this, you know? Oh, 
Can I show you what I mean? Yeah. Like this like the could banana. be the banana. Like, yeah, the is banana. His paw. <laughs> yeah, the banana is. And paw. I just add those little lines like that, and there's his paw. Maybe we should draw another paw over here doing that too. Okay. Oh, let's let's make a little line so it doesn't like be like where is it coming right. from? Right. There like, you go. And this could be his body, like. He's sitting down and he's all scrunched up. But I am gonna do it like this, cause then we can do his other back, like his like legs, okay. and that's like his arms, you know? Great. And you guys, when you're making your scribble drawing, you can use all kinds of creative solutions to make your so, drawing work. It looks good so far. And he's coming together. We're gonna come back and check later.